but what a moment for Rotundi up front. Grew up playing for Newell's old boys, and ultimately in this second half going up against Tata Martino. Uh, Tata Martino's starting London Fringe of Miami, all eyes going to the substitute list. And now underway, the 2023 Leagues Cup. Into Miami and Cruz Azul. Moises. Still Moises. Moises is in all oh, Drake Callender. Second save in the first four minutes. This one better than the first. Moises has a lot of eyeballs. Allowed Legette to get forward at times while keeping an eye on Messi. And the front three could be deadly on the counter, who will push the tempo in wide areas. Uh, Arujo, he's going to stay and allow Yedlin to get forward. What does Lionel Messi have in store for act number four? Underway, the round of 16 in the League's Cup. Inter Miami on the road for the first time in the Lionel Messi era. Velasco. Obrian, Quinone, Giovanni Jesus, oh what a save, Ferrero puts it in, and the flag comes up on FC Dallas, so close to an opener, denied by the offside flag. Colors in his first three Leagues Cup matches, Diego Gomez, Robert Taylor, leaving it for Jordi Alba, back to Lionel Messi! Orlando City, same thing. Watch this movement from Gomez and Busquets. Great movement there. Now the whole game opens up. As this play evolves, the question will be Joseph Martinez. Is Joseph Martinez in an offside position? The answer is yes. Does he play a part in Martin Pass not being able to see the play is the real question because from this angle, does he play a part in it? Especially with the New England Revolution at a couple instances. Actually, one of those was against Inter Miami. Here's his decision. Gives the goal. This is the right decision. Quinone closed down by Arroyo, picks it clean. Now Messi driving forward for Miami. Robert Taylor making a run. Messi through. Robert Taylor is in. Robert Taylor saved by Paz. And the rebound is there for Messi. Oh, he chipped Paz to far right back on his line to prevent the goal. Miami 53 percent of the possession so far. Yeah, Miami's at 59 percent of the possession in this tournament, which is sixth most of 47 teams. Farfan, good ball, and Kenyon! The answer from the 30-year-old Argentine. Dallas levels it, 1-1. One, one. one of them, if not both of them, has got to be a factor in balancing this attack out. Look at the spacing is perfect. Farfan finding the secondary runs. How's that for technique from Quinone? The 30-year-old from Argentina, difficult ball, but good technique, hit it on target. Difficult for Drake Callender to get his hand on it. Settles, floats it. Oh, not cleared initially. Makes it to the jet. There's room to get off and running for FC Dallas. Velasco behind for Ferreira. Kristoff defending. Camungo making a run forward. Ferreira. Camungo. Oh, Romelu Camungo! The dream continues for Bernard Camungo. And Dallas leads 2-1. They're going to have Yedlin and Alba high. That leaves you vulnerable in this moment. Jesus Ferreira. He's mobile. He'll pull your shoulder. I thought this ball into Kamunga was too difficult, but how about that piece of skill? And then the composure in the big moment with all the eyeballs in the world. You've got to be calm. You've got to be composed. Coming to the United States of America from a refugee camp at 14, $90 in his pocket tonight against Messi, Busquets, Alba, and Tata Martino. Kamunga says, thank you very much.
match. 2-1 FC Dallas, Inter Miami. Busquets is still down. Dallas coming forward. Velasco tries to get it to Camungo. It's broken up. Ferreira, Farfan. Farfan floating at Ferreira! Missed again. That's the second chance he's had off his head. And has become a week in, week out starter here at FC Dallas. Velasco will serve. Driven towards the shot! And in! Dallas has the third! Velasco's taking credit! Three to one! Away from the keeper, that it could go untouched because Drake Callender cannot overcommit. He cannot guess. Messi, Busquets, Alba being greeted with the chance of this is our house by the supporters here in Dallas who paid hundreds of dollars to come here. Alba cutting it back, Kramowski scores! Minutes after coming on, the 18-year-old from Miami gets one back, three to two. Also just the understanding of what run is going to be more impactful. Look at the spacing, the triangles, rotations, pull players out of position. But watch Jordi Alba. Lionel Messi, Jordi Alba, they've known each other since they were teenagers. The understanding that it's not the space where I'm at, it's the space where I want to go. Play it in behind, cut it back, and the 18-year-old... If they go quick enough, Velasco leading it. Velasco keeping it himself. Ariola cutting it back. Oh, what? Robert Taylor is about 100 yards away, and he's committed to come in. That says dip. If he leaves that post, Messi's got an angle. Will Messi try? He's going to clip it in. Oh, no oh my goal! goodness. Does anyone? This ball's whipped in. I think the pictures tell the story best. A rush of blood to the head, and Jesus Ferreira is going to lay down behind the wall. But any goalkeeper in the world will tell you when he's on the ball, you're going to guess and cheat just a little bit. You can't. You've got to trust your wall to do its job. Messi up over. World Cup, Barcelona, Paris, now in Major League Soccer for Inter Miami. You need something, you want something, call Lionel Messi, he'll deliver, 4-4. Four, four. Messi scores, of course, Miami. Up 1-0 in this penalty shootout. Hit the post in the Euro 2020 quarterfinal against Switzerland. Mind games from Martin Paz. Down the middle, Busquets scores. Miami lead 2-1. Two 2-1 to one. Two to one. Miami leading the shootout in the second round. Pamacol to make it 2-2. Two -two. Over the bar, he misses. Miami the advantage after two rounds. An opportunity to cement Miami into the quarterfinal. If he scores, it's over and Miami is through. He does! The 18-year-old winning the shootout, Lionel Messi's Miami story continues on to the quarterfinals of Leeds Cup. Me player signed to the first team. The best compliment I've heard of Kramaski at a young age, he's coachable, he's eager to improve. But he loves to win. Winning was extremely difficult for Inter Miami. In penalties, Benjamin Kramaski scored a goal, scored the game-winning penalty. He is in for Diego Gomez. Ben Bender coming in in the attack, and Harrison Awful at left back for the suspended Nathan Byrne. Act five for Lionel Messi in this Miami movie. 
what is in store tonight. Underway at Dry Pin Stadium, Inter-Miami. Jordi Alba. Kramaski. Still Kramaski. He has time. He's going to slide it to Joseph Martinez over to Lionel Messi. Broken up by Awful. Not clear yet. Miami shouting for a handball. Not out of danger for Charlotte, though. More shouts, and now the penalty's given. Not on the first one, but the second. In the 10th minute, Inter-Miami earns a penalty. Felt like there was a handball from the Charlotte defender. Absolutely. The right arm from Harrison Awful was out. Now, the question will be whether or not he had enough time to react. But it doesn't matter because now Dixon Arroyo gets there early, just a little touch. Harrison Awful comes through him. Martinez against Kalina to put Miami ahead. Martinez scores! It's not the first 10 minutes. But it's not much further after. 1-0 Miami early on once again. Be direct. Now the goalkeeper's got to second guess himself. He reacts one way. Martinez goes the other. Inter Miami. 1-0 over Charlotte. At that left back spot. Taylor. Messi. Jordi Alba. Robert Taylor. Lionel Messi. Robert Taylor. This is so good from Miami. Well, the final product be there. Saved by Kalina. Busquets, a lot of room for Yedlin. Picks out Taylor! He took a game off from scoring Robert Taylor against Dallas. Pragmatic and sit in into a low block and allow this team to get into their rhythm. They've got three of the best players in the world that can pick a pass. No pressure on the ball. Busquets finds DeAndre Yedlin. And now look at the runners. You've got Messi, you've got Martinez, Robert Taylor coming in late. And my man from Finland has taken this opportunity with both hands and said, this is mine and I'm not giving it up. His fourth goal in League's Cup, 2-0, Inter-Miami, Charlotte FC, here in Fort Lauderdale. Kramaski gets away from pressure into Messi. Awful steps up and does well to win it. Awful from distance and over the bar. Team. It's stating the obvious, but 2-1 is a lot different than 3-0. Svidersky from distance, straight calendar, does make his first save of this match in the 55th minute. And he has another goal tonight. Svidersky from distance! Calendar was scrambling, it wasn't far away, but it's out for a goal kick. Ten goals last year, their leading score. Seven in MLS play this year. This is Ajiman! Making a save, but again, Charlotte already in 13 minutes. For Charlotte, yet he brings it in. He, he just does something when the ball's at his feet. Messi through for Robert Taylor. Taylor cutting it back to Lionel Messi, and it's blocked. Back to Awful. Ashley Westwood. Jalen Lindsay. Kerwin Vargas. Serves it in. Achimon is there. Oh, he missed it. That was the chance Charlotte had been looking for. The first time they've really created something of imminent danger. Is this imminent danger? It always is with Messi on the ball. Over to Gomez. Cutting it in. And a goal! For a second straight match, Inter Miami, the beneficiary of an own goal. One, he doesn't. And then in the blink of an eye, they put you under pressure. They get you into precarious positions where you're defending in front of your own goal. Campana. For Gomez. Kalina off his line, makes himself big, makes the save. Gomez lets it run out for a corner. It's probably the flattest yes. from both sides. 
Messi through to Campana. Lindsay intervened. Campana still on it though as it came off Mwanda. Oh, nobody coming to Campana. And Messi scores another one. Just a complete rout of Charlotte. The worst defense coming into the League's Cup in Major League Soccer's regular season. And they were a little unlucky. The penalty on Harrison Alpha early on the game flipped it for Lionel Messi and Inter Miami. But since then, chances, opportunities, all for the team in pink. 17 goals scored in this league's cup from the moment that man and his family showed up in South Florida. Nope. Well, he has three straight braces. Is there time for a fourth in a row? Leaving it for Gomez. <laughs> Kalina will make the save. And I'm not talking about scoreline, amount of passes, possession, chances created. Charlotte had one foul in the first 45 minutes, Jake. One foul. There's a common trend when you play Inter-Miami. You better get them into a fist fight. Yeah, two of the most important things to watch. Lowe and Wagner. They want Wagner to have an impact on the game going forward. Damian Lowe when they're in possession. But if tire legs play a part, Kromaski needs to be impactful in possession. Robert Taylor needs to play vertical. And Arroyo has to be very, very disciplined. Most important match in the history of Inter-Miami and in the history of Subaru Park. League's Cup semifinal underway into Miami and the Philadelphia Union. They have been the most consistently excellent team in Major League Soccer this decade. The most points, the most goals scored, the fewest goals conceded since 2020. Here's a chance for Martinez and a goal! Joseph Martinez, three minutes in! No pressure on the ball whatsoever allows Kristoff to step into the midfield. But finally, finally, the Joseph Martinez that scored 77 goals over three years for Atlanta United makes a vertical run, one touch, bang, hits the back of the net. How do you like that, Lionel Messi? You punched the opposition in the face when the opening whistle came. They are sitting in, they're defending first, they're reacting, not proactive. Good ball here from Wagner. Augusta, saved by Callender. Maybe still there, Bueno. Flock tries to float it in, unable to. Kristoff into the feet of Martinez, has time to turn into Messi, advantage play. Messi driving forward, Messi from distance! After the ball hits the back of the net, how good is this? Turn, find space, now play forward. But someone from Philadelphia, you've got to stop Lionel Messi. From 30 yards in, all he needs is a gap, a half a yard, and you're going to be picking the ball out of the back of the net. My word, what a start for Lionel Messi in his Major League Soccer career. Nine goals in six games. 2-0, Miami, here in Philadelphia. Articulated this perfectly in the pregame. That's what they do better than anyone. They play two forwards to high press the two center backs. Turn them over. Goes down! Calendar, another save. Taylor's gonna keep coming forward. Jordi Alba wants it behind. Jordi Alba might be in. A chance for a third! Miami Magic has come north to Philadelphia! A first half rout! 3 nil into Miami! But Robert Taylor deserves a ton of credit for just keeping his composure. And again, no pressure 
from the defensive setup of the Philadelphia Union. Robert Taylor turning, spinning like a top in midfield. No one stops the ball. This is criminal from Jim Curtin's perspective. And then Jordi Alba, who started his run inside his own defensive third, continues that in class throughout his entire career when it comes to being in the right spot at the right time in the final third. That smile says it all, and the scoreboard says more. 3 0. Through for Donovan. About calendar. Goal is open. Oh, he skies it. Martinez, Kai Wagner, another chance to cross. He sends it in. But I've really enjoyed watching Drake Callender up close. What a fantastic save that was. Down and away. How quick can you get down there? But also parry it wide. This is a big time save from Drake Callender. He was massive in this tournament to kick things off against Cruz Azul. And in certain moments, he's been even bigger for Inter Miami. Lesnitz steps away from Campana into Donovan. Wagner floating it in. Oh, a flicking it off. Glasnitz misses. Wagner to serve. Flicked on off of Calendar. Yedlin bombing forward. Room for DeAndre Yedlin. Yedlin through. Tommy Ruiz with Blake off his line! It's their number! The magic number! A fabulous four for Inter Miami again in League's Cup. And surely now on to the final. Homegrown from Miami. Catching Andre Blake coming off his line. Ruiz to Kamal Miller. We're going to go beyond the three because of that delay. Ruiz is chopped down. Messi one swung. Won't get a chance. The final whistle. It's a Miami dream. It's a Philadelphia nightmare. One would say you're rolling your dice a little bit. Sam Surge has the middle, but the front three have been unstoppable. 16 goals, 6-6 six six amongst the... in these moments. Whoever manages their emotions better. Yedlin. Pico floating it. Surridge settling. Miller sends it away and the offside flag comes up on Sam Surridge. In this league's cup, think about the gauntlet. FC Cincinnati, Club America, Monterey, and now Miami. Good start from those two from Nashville, 14 minutes in. One thing in common from those three games that you mentioned, maybe the toughest path. Now into that equation, they're going to crowd that area from Jay Callender. They're looking for any runner to get near close in front of Yedlin and Joseph Martinez. When they get that, any kind of deflection, this could be real trouble for Inter-Miami. 
Great calendar. He's 22nd. Cincinnati in America. Or do you start Joe Willis, who had been the starter really for the entire three and a half years that Nashville has been in Major League Soccer? Joe Willis missed the match against Minnesota because of a family emergency. Missed the match against Monterey. Got back just before it. Unbelievable. Four, maybe five critical touches in the first 24 minutes of the game. Yet it doesn't matter because if you're not clean, if you are not perfect, and you allow a half a yard with four defenders around them, it does not matter. Over 800 goals in his professional career, 43 trophies, and he has set foot in Major League Soccer for Inter Miami. In for 18 seconds, Miami's got the better player. That's why the scoreline's 1 0, but don't lose the game. Kramaski does well to turn away from Godoy. Tempo through the middle, but they came into this saying you are not going to play into the feet of Joseph Martinez and Lionel Messi through the middle. You're going to have to go around us. That's how the goal started. Ball popped out, fell in the middle. Well, then what does that say about Barcelona and La Liga? What does that say about Paris and France? It's Lionel Messi. Don't disrespect the goal. The record, if you're wondering, 10 games in a row did it for <laughs> Barcelona. So, uh... Times defending is in the right spot at the right time. Kamal Miller doing just that, but what a ball in from Lovitz. Jordi Alba getting attention from Inter Miami's athletic trainers before this quarter. Mukhtar sends it in, Calendar punches it away. And Ismail Elfat blows the first half whistle, the halftime whistle, it's 1-0. It's Lionel Messi, again, his 10th goal of this tournament. Nashville's seventh game since July 23rd. Both teams went through the gauntlet of League's Cup to make it to the final. Second half now underway in the League's Cup 20 versus Nashville SC, but also Hani Mukhtar versus Lionel Messi. Mukhtar, these two teams meet in their first final with a chance of their first trophy as Fafa Pico sends the first shot of the second half. Ten rows up into the crowd. Well, Nashville had a ton of success early. Kravatsky, Jordi Alba, cutting it back, Martinez, it was blocked by Zimmerman. Yeah, Lionel Messi's having words with Joseph Martinez here because when Jordi Alba gets to the end line, look at Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba. Taylor, Jordi Alba. Comes off of Moore, McNaughton has to get it. It's off the field, he's driving the homegrown players to training, he's doing a lot of the little things. Great, oh! Offside flag was up on Hani Mukhtar, who started his run a bit early. Yeah, but this is the run that's killer. This is... Oh, by Nico. Who scans and Ghidorah and just clash into each other, they slide into each other. Wait, 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 Messi will drive it in. Love it, City matches, and the fourth official in the final of the World Cup. Kramowski! Almost sneaking it into the back post. Well, that was the best draw she'll see all night long. There is zero chance he's shooting this. Great combination play from Inter Miami through the time of the game. Mukhtar flicked up! the unexpected. He's going to go quick. He is going for goal, and he sends it. Ten rows up into the back line. Doy to McCarty. 
Direct for Mutar. It's over him. It was just under 300, less than Miami. Messi again. Oh, no. away from giving Miami the lead back in the second. You just can't get caught ball watching, and that's what happens with Dax McCarty. Dax McCarty thinks he can pass to his right. Sam Sarge! Calendar makes the save, and McCarty! And just why? What I tell you about Honey Mutar, it's 90 minutes, but especially the final 25 becomes... Been in a final before tonight. Mukhtar turning, keeps it away from Jordi Alba, goes down, set his coming for Nashville. Mukhtar, just wide. He's on it. Mukhtar, the step over, Mukhtar! They say Calendar got a touch. Absolutely. He did. It's a save and it's a corner. Yeah, you can hear it. And to win Leeds Cup, over Panico! Campana! Oh, the Leeds! Oh, my God! played over the top, that yeah. they had a threat in behind Finally. this whole 90 minutes. Everything from a defensive standpoint for Nashville has been played in front of them. They finally get a look in behind, and it's... To begin the shootout, Lionel Messi against Elliot Panico. Waits for Panico to commit. Gives Miami the early lead. Scores with authority. Saved by Calendar! Miami advantage after two rounds! Against Zambia in the under 20s. Against Campana. They will need him to make a save. Again, Miami gets Panico to go the wrong way. The pressure really on Nashville now. How clever is this? With life again. Surridge does. On the round six. Round six. Now Kristoff against Panico. Well taken penalty by the center back. Extend the shootout. Down the middle to round nine we go. To the goalkeeper's right in the under 20s for Haiti. Oh, oh, oh. Stutter composed from the 19-year-old. Two years in Nashville. Needs to score to keep Nashville alive. And he does to a tenth round. Oh my 
goodness. Panico gets so kind of thing. We have seen. In the 10th round, he scores to go to the goalkeeper.